Good evening and welcome back to Slime Rancher. I'm Modi Apparatus. We're back at our ranch here. Things are right where we left off pretty much here. And we're about to go to sleep and see what the plur market looks like for tomorrow. Looks like we also have a mail to read here. Star mail from Ogden Oritz. Ortiz? Ortiz Oritz. What am I thinking of? Ortiz. Uh, the name's Ogden Ortiz. I'm a slime rancher much like yourself, but I fancy myself a farmer. I came far for a ranch to grow fruits and veggies the way we used to back on Earth. By getting down in the soil and then getting our hands dirty. Did you know that carrots improve your night vision? Yeah, seriously, they do. I don't know why all the ranchers aren't gobbling them down every chance they get. Being lost on the range at night can be so dangerous. Well, don't ram don't let me ramble on here. I'll be in touch via the ranch exchange. We tend to only raise slimes that eat fruits and vegetables. I expect those kinds of requests from me. Okay, so fruits and veggie slimes. Okay, so that's where the big money is. Oh, we didn't sleep. We should sleep. Uh, I guess I guess the the exchange is where the big money is, really. Um, that's where we can make a lot of money. But uh, there's very specific requests. We have to basically have everything ready for it. So we need the four. Oh, we can actually do this one, I think. Let's see. Seven carrots. Four cuberries, which we have totally, and then we just need the pogo fruit. I think we have that's, that's pogo fruit, anyways. Let's see here. Seven. Okay, and then we need cuberry. Four of these bad boys. Alright, and then we need to find some pogo berry. Pogo fruit, rather. And let's see if there's some that are eating it up though. Oh, we're gonna get over here. Uh, I don't think that's what we're picturing there. That's something different. That's not pogo fruit that's on the board there. Uh, oh, they ate it all. Let's go take a look. I don't think, I think that's another fruit I don't know about yet. Let's go take a look real quick. Um, let's see, will it accept pogo fruit? No, it will not. Okay, so that's something different altogether. We need to explore for that one. And we just wasted a bunch of cuberries and pogo fruit and, uh, and carrots and stuff, but that's okay. Carrots are in a nice supply today. So for this kind of thing, what would be good is to have some storage on hand. Oh, first of all, let's take a look at the plort market and see what we can do today. Eight, even better than yesterday. All right. That's, that's fantastic. So let's drop off some carrots for our friends here. And uh, yeah, we'll do some good business today. So let's feed them up. They're going mad for the stuff. Oh, jumping out. Don't chase it. Don't chase it. I'll bring it to you. Don't worry. I'll bring it to you. All right, so let's let this thing do its thing here. Uh, let's see, we have six Q berries. I don't want to waste all of them just in case this does die off. It seems like this died off yesterday. This might be right behind it, so I don't want to risk. Uh, let me go find more Q berry. Okay, we save one. And if I save, I don't know what we'll do exactly. Pogo fruit we can get rid of. That's that's plentiful enough and nearby enough that we can. All right, so let's see if this thing's gonna suck up all these plorts here any minute here. Go, do it. Do your thing. I want to see it happen. There it is. I love that part. 29. That's it? Really? I guess that's what we fed them. There's a lot of angry ones in there still, too. We didn't get everybody. Okay. We might need a secondary farm. Now, I wonder, now that we have the grotto, if we can build more farms in there or if there's not enough light to grow anything. Um, I wonder if the slime Slimepedia has anything about that. Uh, ranch world. Slime keys. Oh, slime keys are large stone keys that are used to open ancient slime gates across the range. These gates often lead to expansive new areas to explore and create shortcuts to familiar areas. Okay, cool. I didn't quite know what those do. The slime sea. Ranch. The grotto. Okay. Grotto is an expansion into the ranch set in a slightly spooky cave that allows the rancher to care for light sensitive slimes without the need for solar screen. Never has a phosphor slime felt so liberated. Doesn't say anything about not being able to grow there. Um. Yeah, this let their okay. The thicket it great creates for, allows for fruits and veggies to grow naturally and attracts the occasional wild chicken, making it the ideal space for a rancher that wants to their let their slimes roam more freely. Okay. And then we need to unlock this last area over here to expand the ranch once more. Um, and this is the this was the overgrowth. So this is gonna be like more like veggies over there. I'm thinking also. So, um, very very cool. Uh. So I don't know what the big plan is here just yet. I think what I'm going to do is put storage up here, though. Uh, what's that going to cost me? I want to get a silo. Can't take it with you when you go, so put it in storage. 350. Um, 
it uh, lets you store plorts and resources, and basically we can expand it also, uh, so we can like have like more than one thing stored. I think by, in, by default it just lets you store one thing in there. After a little while, you can expand it up and uh, improve it. So 29 right now. We have nine on us also. Let's go take a look down here by the ocean, see how things going today. Now we do have the tabby gordo we found. Oh, there's a lot of pre-range pre -range ports over here. I can totally grab. And carrots. And pink slimes we don't need, but we'll just turn them back loose after we catch everything here. Clean up the area. Okay, that's the last port we need. Let's let the slimes go loose. Be free. Be free. All right, let's see if we can get any chickens. Oh, he's gonna get eaten. Oh, he got eaten. Um, do we want chickens nearby? The problem with keeping like chickens nearby is that we need to make a coop for them uh, so they don't run away. And also slimes have a habit of jumping into the coop if you're not careful. Uh, so it is a bit of a problem when you don't have a lot of money like we don't right now. Let's go take a look and see if we can find anything interesting over here today. So we have a couple of rock plorts I see already. And we can feed these guys some food here. Hi there, buddy. He is somehow not a tar yet. I'm surprised. Oh, we're gonna have more tabbies here in a second. Okay, let's see. Here we go. They got the tabby. Don't. Oh, okay. All right, he hit that one. Uh, don't want to let them all eat these. Okay, that's that's okay. We're taking some damage. Not the end of the world. Okay, we don't have room for a pink. That's fine. I don't. I'm I'm nervous about leaving the pink city here. Because if they have those tabby ones, there it is. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this would happen. Let's get him out of here before he causes too much problems. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna hurt us. Okay, drop him over there. And is that it? Is that it? Okay. Oh no, there's one more. One more. Like I said, these guys are dangerous. They self-replicate. So, getting getting one out of here is 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 good. Oh, we 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 made that missed that shot. Okay. Let's get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out. Get him up in the air at least. You can't do much damage up there. Okay, we'll give him a little taste of this. Come on back. Come on back. Oh, he's, there's another one back here, isn't there? Oh boy. Don't you dare. Yeah, I got here, you. Oh boy, Tar Crisis. Crisis is averted mostly, though. Uh, we don't want to waste our last Q-berry. Oh, we got some more uh, rock plants, though. And again, rock plants, these guys can eat. Well, they won't even eat them, they won't touch them. Um, but the tabby ones were the problem. The tabby ones, if they eat a rock, that's where the tar comes from. Or the tabby ones eat a pink, that was the issue, yeah. They're rock and... So yeah, basically if you combine three things together, that's where the problems come in. Are you, are you okay? Want to get cleaned off? He loves it, he loves it. He's getting a little clean there. Um. So yeah, that's the one thing we gotta be aware of. There's another tabby over here. Gonna make me nervous, okay? Because the rocks are gone for the time being. But anytime you get start getting largos, you get you get some dangers happening. But not the end of the world. Um, I guess is this what we needed? Oh, I wonder if that's what we needed and I just broke them. No, oh, those were rotting. I think is what those were. Those were rotting versions of this. Oh, because nobody picked them up yesterday, probably. That makes sense, okay. So, the other way we can get rid of uh, those tars is with the water, I believe, too. Um, you don't have to shoot them into the water, but I think this is, that for right now, this is the most effective way. Is just to launch them. Just launch them, get them away from our, our, our prop out here. So let's go turn the, the tabby plorts, the rock plorts. Let's go turn in the... Uh... Now, we could try to turn all of our guys over here into pink tabbies and then they'll give us both when we feed them the only problem is they jump higher than everything else does and they will also launch all the little guys around them out so corralling at that point is going to be a big issue um but the plus side of that is we would get a lot more money by farming tabbies than we would from farming these other guys here so let's actually see here quick well we also want to get storage going now we're not going to do it with pink ports alone 
Uh, let's trap some rock ports in there. I don't want to mess with the rock ports because these guys are dangerous. They don't sell for quite as much as the tabby ones anyways, so... Alright, so now that we have this much money, I think it's time to buy the coop, uh, the uh, silo. Not the coop, not the coop. Uh, the coop will be later. Um, buy the silo. The other thing I want to buy maybe is the higher walls. Stop them from jumping. Another 300 though. I would love to have buy both those things. I can only buy one though right now. And I think if we got the high walls, we might be able to do the tabbies then in there. So maybe we'll work toward that today. That'll be our goal. So let's build the silo. And as you can see, we can house one thing in there. Right now, I'm going to put the cube berry in there. Uh, and then we'll start thinking about if we want to use the tabby plorts on those guys. Um, how much how much money do I have in here right now? I have 29. Okay. And we also want to think about also doing some personal upgrades for two. Uh, like over here at the station, we can actually upgrade our tank a little bit. Um, well, 30 units instead of 20. It'll help save some uh, headaches also. Uh, okay, let's drop these off and see how much we can get. So 20 times 8 is another 160. I think that's pretty close. Now let's see, what's it going to cost for the high walls? It was a 200 or 50? 300, okay, so we're close. I think if we go get some free range guys, we can get the high walls. Then once we get the high walls, I have no problem doing... Maybe we'll, we'll pare it down a little bit and get rid of some of the other smaller guys out of there. Um, because we'll be getting more money overall by having, we'll lose less slimes overall, but we'll get, we'll get more money overall just by, by, uh, nature of the, the tabby floor selling for more. And, uh, yeah, we'll just grow tabbies in there. And as long as we keep ourselves careful and don't let the, another third type get too close to them, we should be okay. So it's eight per plort right now, and we need another 70 to get what we need, so we're good. We'll get another 20 worth. That'll be another 160. Okay. So, let's go get another 160 with what we found here. And we'll feed these guys. Oh, we'll actually save the carrots for the uh, tabby plorts. We'll make some pink tabby plorts. Dig pink tabby uh, largos, rather. And then we'll get both ty types of plorts from those guys. And I, again, I will pare that down. I will get some of those slimes out of there and just put them back in the wild, I think. So, uh, let's drop these off. And we'll get up to 300. Okay, cool. And then... We'll... Activate this. The high walls on it. Just a little bit better, so nothing's gonna jump out as much. And then... We'll grab some of these guys out. And make them free-range slimes. Adios, partners! Okay. So... Then, I think that's paired enough down. We can have we can have these guys combined together, I think. And we'll make ourselves some tabbies. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Oh, they're hungry, though. They're, uh, guys, of course you're hungry. Of course you are. Oh, we need more food. Uh, there should be carrots grown. Oh, nope. Our last Q berries are gone, though. So that's exactly why I wanted to hold on to one. So now that we have that gone, it's going to be good for a few days. Uh, what's the next upgrade for this? Because this will add on additional storage is 300. So you can have up to four ports of storage for storing ports and resources. That'd be awesome to have four different silos here. These can hold a bunch. Um, but yeah, let's go feed. Let's go feed our phosphor slime. Because that's going to sell for a lot, right? He loves these things too. So he's going to exactly what he wanted. How's it going, buddy? How you doing tonight? I'm just lying to you. It's not night out actually at all. We oh we dropped two of them. You are such a good little foster slime, aren't you? Yes, you are. Oh, he's beautiful. So good. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's that's pretty great. Um, it would be cool to have a garden for these cuberries in here, but again, I don't know if things grow or not. Uh, let's see. We can build a garden here. It lets us. I don't know why that would work, but it works. Maybe because it's all sciency. Doesn't need sunlight. Doesn't need science. Uh. What did you just eat? Oh, you're loose. Get back in there, you. Oh, I see our problem. Once we get these guys fed, other ones are gonna eat the tabby, tabby plorts, and then we're gonna have a problem. Okay, so what we need is a second corral just for tabbies, I think. Just for the tabbies. And get all the little guys out of there. Uh, what's another corral gonna cost us? 250. All right. Yeah, I think that's the way to go because 
Um, these guys are going to keep eating the, the, the extra plorts and turning. We're going to have more than more tabbies. We're going to have a tabby overload here in a minute. Uh, if we're not careful. Yeah, we're going to have a tabby overload here. Oh, don't be ate it. Yeah, we can't we can't get the tabby ones with all these little guys in there. So we got to get the little ones out. Uh, it's not going to be easy with all these tabbies bouncing around here either. I'll tell you what, let's just get all the little ones out. We don't need to have little ones here. We'll get the optimal number of tabbies in there. First of all, let's get rid of those guys. Oh yeah, we got to do some more cleaning down the road, I think. You got out again? Jeez. All right. You're a tabby too. Jeez, how many tabbies are in here? I keep stuck my back. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Tabbies get out, they don't really, they're not going to get into too much trouble over here. Now, if they were elsewhere, if we had more types of slimes over here, that'd be a different story. But right now, okay, so we got five tabbies in there. Can we get any tabby plorts out of this? We got one. I mean, I guess we can get six. I mean, I guess I'll do the math on this later and see what the best result would be. These guys are still jumping out, aren't they? They're big jumpers. They're big jumpers. These walls don't go any higher. Two is the max. We can also put a roof on it. Air net. Uh, force barrier covers the top of the corral. Can take a few hits before it needs recharging. Um, so basically, I'll stop them from uh, bouncing out every single time. They'll hit the ceiling and then jump back down. Okay, let's see what we can sell these phosphor slimes for, and then we'll we'll take a sleep. Uh, let's see, phosphor sells for twenty six. Yeah, let's sell them off. Could be interesting to make a uh, a pink phosphor though, maybe. All right, Star Mail says. From Mochi Miles. Mochi Miles says, Well, well, it seems another wannabe rancher has signed up for a lonely existence on the faraway space rock. Congrats, Beatrix. I'm Mochi Miles. That's Miles, as in a tat Tatsua Miles, a billionaire. I'm here to do the important do important business for my dad, but doesn't mean I want to make all the rest of these backwater types out here look bad in the process. Oh, I won't make all the backward types look out bad out here in the process. No one conquers the plort market like I do, day in, day out. My dad gives me inside track to look, so look forward to my requesting plorts that I know will make huge profits later on. So I wish you the best of luck, Beatrix. Maybe you'll even reach second place. And at the very least, you can tell your friends that you helped the great Moki Miles in her quest for the, uh, on the of the far, far range. Later, Tater. Moki Miles, top rancher. Okay, great. Um, so we have our enemy, our nemesis, but also is going to be our friend who requests plorts from us that, I don't know if it's actually set up that way, but like, if we have requests, so this is a request for Phosphor, two Tabby, and one Rock. That's not bad. Um, I think what we can do, we can probably do that. All right, let's see if we can get enough stuff for that. Get that done. Uh, if that Phosphor drops two more, we might be able to do it. First of all, let's take a look and see what the floor market looks like today. We still have to deal with all those slimes over there, too. All right. So, uh, carrots are still good for another day? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's see if we can get this. We can get this. We can get this. Okay, first of all, let's feed these guys. Those guys eat a little bit. And we'll take a look at the plorts. Nine! Awesome! Even better. It's going up! It's on the rise! We've hit a, we've hit a peak. We've hit a peak. Uh, let's see if we can get these tabbies out of here. Um, let's see, another carrot in here for him. He's hungry too. Anybody else hungry? He's hungry. Anybody else? He's not happy. Alright, he's not happy either. Looks like everybody's happy now. Yay! Bouncing! Our favorite thing to do, bouncing. You guys can eat a little bit too. So there's two tabbies in there already, and a couple more come on the, on the way, it looks like, once this thing kicks in. Uh, looks like another three or four there. We have one on us already. So let's take a look and see if we can match this. We got uh, two. Oops, that's not right. And we need one more. Okay. And the rest is profit. Well, this will also give us some money, too. So we'll take our Q-berry over to this guy. No, the, we, he gave us two before because Q-berry is his favorite. Now, we'll eat the, the pogo fruit, but he won't eat, he won't eat veggies. But that's why he gave us two yesterday, I'm pretty sure. So we gave him what he wants. And he loves it. 
Gives a little bonus. Love it. Oh, don't mean to take you in, bud. Sorry. Get back out of there. Oh, have a nice day also. You're my favorite. I shouldn't tell him it's my favorite, but it's true. I know. I know he's going to make the other guys jealous, but he's segregated. I mean, he won't. He won't. We won't get back to these guys that, that he's my favorite. I think. I hope. Okay, so two phosphors. Bam, bam. And then one rock slime. We got it. We got it. We got to get a rock floor before noon. We're on pace to do some good work today. Mm, we're out of energy. Can't run anymore. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Are we going to get there on time? Well, you don't got a lot of time. Put it out. Don't you take it. We got one. I think that's all we needed, right? Uh, let's grab a few more if we can. Oh, get out of my way. Eat that one. And then give us, give us another rock floor, please. So these guys are happy when they're uh, they're fed, it looks like. Oh, now they're all turning into <laughs> pink rock slimes. Oh, there's a tabby. Oh, this is going to be another tar situation. Get out of here, tabby. I'll take you home with me. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. You're too good for them. <sighs> yeah, I don't want another tar situation over there. I really don't. All right, let's dash with this guy back all the way home. Drop off the rock and get our reward. Now, um, that is also, so if this is for Moki Miles, what it sounded like anyways, there we go, um, one, yes, uh, he, she mentioned, oh my god, I didn't know it was going to give us that, holy cow, all right, cool, uh, I mean, that's a lot of food, we have no place to put it all, all right, let's put the cube area away, we have that at least. We also can probably upgrade this with the 300 we have, or we will have in a minute. Uh, need 300 for this? Yeah, 300. Uh, we might be able to get that today. Let's drop those off here. Okay, so that's up to 272. Oh boy, there's a lot of kitties in there. Three tabbies. And... Twenty pink. Drop those bad boys off in here. There we go. Fortunate. They're selling for thirty-three today. Not bad. And uh, pinks are selling for another nine. Oh man, we're loaded today. Taking advantage. Okay, we got one more. We got one more trip in us at least before we need to call it quits for this episode in this day. Oh, there's a lot of loose plorts around here too. I'll grab those up. But they ate all of my random loot there. Um, let's grab these up just in case. It won't cause any problems though. It's pretty safe over here right now. If we start wanting to do more complex things, that's where we're gonna have a problem. Like when we start having other kinds of slimes over here. Keeping it to minimum of a, a maximum of two over here right now, though, two different types of slime, being pink and tabby, will be okay. There's no risk there of them uh randomly uh Turn tar on us. Alright, so. If we can, what we'll do is take this pogo fruit over to the uh, guys over here. And just feed everything over here with these. These guys love it. And we'll get all kinds of uh, rock ports. And we'll sell those for a lot. Those are pretty, those are pretty valuable. As long as these guys are happy, they're not going to hurt me too much. I don't think. Oh, he ate a pink one on the way to me. Again, I don't want to introduce the rock in here. So I think what the key would be is to maybe keep it to two per area. So we have, we have a pink slime area, we have a, a tabby slime area. And we have, that's it over here. And then maybe in the phosphor area, we have the rock slimes and the phosphor slimes. And that way that we segregate it out so that we don't have any, you know, unfortunate tar situations. It could still happen, I think, through, uh, you know, random events too, though. Um, like extra slimes getting added randomly. But 
hopefully we can avoid that. And uh, we'll, we'll do the best plan we can come up with. Uh, don't you, don't you hurt me. Alright, there's more pogo fruit over there on that tree. I should probably grab it and eat these guys. Oh, not you. Not you either. Not you either. I get this. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh, God. We're gonna have a tar situation here. Oh, we were gonna have a tar situation. I can't find it. Where did the tabby go? Where did it go? Uh, did he not eat anything? Is he still- no, he, he ate it. The tabby slimes- the tabby ports around here someplace. Unless another one of these guys ate it. He, maybe he ate it? Oh, I hope so. I don't see it, and... Alright, I'm gonna leave, and assume that no tar happens. Yeah, that's good- that's a good haul, though, for, uh... Reports for today. Let's head back home. So we'll sell off our pinks. We have a lot. Oh, there's so many more pinks over here still too. We gotta try to get back and get those. I think today still too, because it's, it's selling for nine. We gotta take advantage of that. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. And then we can also start storing some stuff in our new silo, and do a little bit even more speculation on our floor prices because we don't have to sell them off when it's down to six or seven. We can wait till it's nine once we have some storage for it. So uh, yeah, that'll be good. So let's see. We have twenty pink and nine. 25 gonna be a pretty penny oh boy okay let's do this let's get some upgrades for this going now uh let's see let's do one storage upgrade which is that so that's next second silo for pogo fruit for now oh we'll put plorts there eventually big plorts probably um and then uh we do one more or do we want to build something else to help us make more money in the future this will help us make more money too but you know a slower scale. And then also there's another crate here. Three rooster and 14. I don't think we're going to get 14 chickens. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to do that. So we can do another upgrade on here for another uh, storage spot in the silo. Wouldn't be a bad decision, I think. Let's see, there's carrots to, to harvest here. Nope, nope, nope. Um, otherwise, we'll start saving up for over here and unlock this maybe next episode. So I think actually I will call it here. Uh, we got a little bit done here again. We got our first uh, tabby tabby farm going. Uh, they're looking great. Looking hungry though. A little bit hungry. They're kind of getting uh, antsy it looks like. A couple of them are anyways. But uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good and pretty lucrative for us I think. Um, especially if pay attention to the poor market here. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Slime Rancher. I'll be back in a couple days for another one. Hope you guys are still enjoying the series and I'll see you next time.